So our topic is media buying. Let's understand what is a media buying. Okay. So as simple as that, let's go with the definition first. Buying of advertising space for the purpose of advertising from a company operating media properties. Okay. Basically, it's nothing but we are all looking for some space. Okay, where it will be showing the ads, showing the let's say uh, advertisements of your brand or a, let's say a product or a service. Okay on a space what we purchase that is a media buying and that media buying space can be purchased on various parameters such as specific times you can select or you can go with the location uh, and other specific features also available on that basis what you will do you will purchase a space and over there ads will be shown of your brand basically of a product or service whatever you're promoting that is nothing but a, your media buying Next thing is our media buyers are also are the individual responsible for purchasing time and advertising space for the purpose of advertisement. So let me tell you media buyers are the let's say responsible uh, person which is let's say who is the one will be purchasing time and the space okay for the purpose of advertising. Those people are known as those people are known as media buyers okay the job is to find out the best uh, let's say ad space for you okay and the best time when your ad should be shown and the different uh, let's say parameters are available on that basis they will select the ad space that is the job of a media buyer next thing what are the different roles and responsibilities of a media buying so we'll talk about that okay so the very first role is selecting the appropriate ad network this is very very important like they should select the prop appropriate ad network because that's that's the, the that's the place where ads will be shown and if the network is not proper if let's say our audience is not right maybe a viewer will be wasting our money so their job is to find out like which is the proper ad network for my brand or for my product or service and they need to need, need to find out and let's say they have to work on it second thing is establishing a dashboard mechanism this is a very important feature nowadays every brand or every let's say tool have this dashboard mechanism nowadays to make things easy for us in dashboard mechanism basically you will come to know like you know things are very pretty sorted okay you get a pretty good idea like you know what's happening with your campaigns or how your campaigns are running you get an overall uh, overview of all the uh, or you know overview of all the campaigns how they're running on uh, the performance of your campaign okay so they should establish a dashboard mechanism next thing monitoring campaign performance again this is a very very important part once you run a campaign it becomes very important that you should monitor it properly okay it is not compulsory that if you purchase a proper ad network even though your campaign will run 100 percent uh let's say with a good performance okay there can be a scenario like you know sometimes my performance my campaign performance might get affected due to some other reasons and i should know about that so you should proper monitor it properly if it's not running pause it for some time okay and then again you can enable it when you think the time is right so properly monitor the performance if it is not working find out the uh, let's say take the proactive measures okay to make sure that the campaign performance is maintained and just properly monitored next thing recommendations on budget adjustments this is a very very important part recommendation on budget budget adjustments for example let's say every brand have a different budget requirement like you know how much money budget is nothing but how much money they want to spend on their ad space okay so every brand have a different requirement depending upon the season what they have basically the time season is nothing but the time when you have the business on the uh, let's say a uh, high peak okay so basically for example let's say during diwali we know like you know firecrackers will have a good season like there'll be a business would be really high firecrack firecrackers so at that time when they want to show ads of firecrackers for example then they have to make sure they give a proper budget recommendations okay probably uh, they have to make sure that sometimes it should be low it should be high they should know the proper timings as well for example, if I take an example, let's say uh, during restaurants, I'm talking about the restaurant. So during restaurant, uh, Monday to Friday budget should be a little low. Weekends, it should be very high because we know that weekends people will usually go on social media platforms and on different different ad space, which we're going to purchase or they will see the ad of our brand. So we should come up with a good budget, uh, let's say over, over during weekends. So that all things should be taken care by the media buyer next thing reporting on effectiveness of spends obviously the money what you will spend the client will ask you like you know give me the report so you have to work on the proper report you have to give a uh, let's say a before and after report like for example before you 
before the campaign what you have run or before the space what you have purchased where you're showing the ads things were let's say pretty uncool like you got 100 you used to get 100 clicks per day but after running a campaign or after showing ads on your proper ad network okay now you're getting 1000 clicks per day for example so that before and after you have to make sure that you come program with the proper report okay and the money what you're spending you should have a reason for each and everything like you know this money we have to have spent over there and what do we got out of it okay again second point is about the roi where a lot of people have a, a i would say question like the, your client would be asking you 100 percent like where is my roi so you have to make sure that the money what you're spending should be very effective you get your ROI back. ROI is nothing but return on investment. If I'm spending 100 rupees, at least I should get my 100 rupees back. Okay, so that is nothing but reporting on effectiveness of your spend. So make sure you give a proper, uh, uh, let's say, a detailed report and give the proper scenario, like you know, how much your uh, after purchasing an ad space, how much your brand has boosted. Okay, <clears throat> next thing. The old way of media buying okay so guys there was a time when people used to uh, let's say purchase the media through traditional marketing way okay so through traditional marketing way is nothing but like over there during the previous times humans were involved agents were involved okay like media was used to people used to purchase media through via human okay like i have to give an ad in a uh, let's say newspaper i'll contact some other person that person will take some commission he will contact the newspaper so some agents were involved and it was human uh, let's say interaction was there okay obviously interaction used to happen negotiation used to happen it used to take a lot of time to process and again the transition we used to complete on over the phone or email or a fax it was not like on the like a click away okay it used to take a lot of time okay during the like the old way what people used to buy Again, audience targeting was based on geographical locations and IP address. Like we, we can target people on the location and IP address. Okay, that was possible when people used to do it, uh, purchase the media in the older old ways. These were the old ways. Okay, we're talking about the new ways. These are the new ways. We have different options available over here. Very first thing is direct site buy. Okay, this is nothing but when a single site is bought for serving the ads. If you think that website is let's say appropriate for your brand for your product or service okay you can directly pitch to the website like you know uh please show my ads over there and whatever money you want i can pay you directly without paying commission to any other agent or something that is nothing but direct site buy so let me give an example over here of ipl so everybody know that ipl is a uh, season where uh, we know that a lot of people uh, will, will have a huge traffic on hotstar Okay, a lot of people will go and watch online IPL on Hotstar. So I know that Hotstar is a platform where we get a huge traffic. And let's say I'm into sports business. So I would purchase the Hotstar. Okay, I would go, I'll directly go and, uh, I would go and talk to the Hotstar. I would say, sir, I need to show my ads on your website, on your platform. Okay, obviously I have to pay money directly to Hotstar, but the scenario is nothing but I'm targeting the audience in the right time the right way and directly i'm purchasing it okay directly i'm purchasing the ad space this is your direct site buy next thing network buy in network buy in this network of sites are bought on which ads will be thrown impressions for example let's say over here all those websites would be in a network so network is nothing but a collection of uh, websites for example let's say uh, i am an agency i'll contact all those hundred websites which have a huge traffic Okay, I'll ask them to join me and form a network. And if somebody wants to show ads on this network, they have to contact me first. Okay, so what I will do, I'll take some money from that person who won't advertise on the network. I'll take some money on the network because I'm giving them business. So I'm the agent who will be in the center and doing the business. Okay, I'll give the best example is Google Ads. So what Google Ads do in this case, for example, let's say Amazon want to show ads on Google Ads. Okay, but on the network basically, Basically, when they want to show ads on Google Ads, means they want to show ads on the network what Google have known as Display Network. Okay, so let's say Display Network Times of India is there. Okay, now Amazon want to show ads on Times of India, but he can't contact Times of India directly because agent is involved. Network is it's network buy, right? You have to go through the agent. So agent is nothing but the Google. 
For example, I'm giving 100 rupees to Google. Google gives 32 percent, 68 percent. He will give it to to the uh, let's say Times of India. So why Times of India is connected to Google? Because he is giving business. Google is giving business Times of India, and Google also earning commission from both the sites. As he is a partner, he might be taking some money as he is a partner, and he is taking money from me as well for showing the ads, getting it. This is nothing but your network buy. Last thing is a self serve network buy. This is nothing but you have your own network. Like you yourself is in the network. Okay. Then basically you can you will manage your own account. You can allow your ads to come and go as you please. So when you want to show your ads on your own brand, you can do that. Okay. For example, I have two websites. I'll show I'll show my ad of each other website on the you know, on each other websites of both the branch, basically. So it's nothing but myself serve as I'm the I myself is in the network, right? So that can also be done. Next thing, process of media buying. So proper process has been assigned, like you know what things you have to consider. You should consider while purchasing the media buying. Very first thing, identify your target, know your target, fix your objectives, planning and strategy, and execution of plans or strategy. So the next thing is identifying our target. That is a very important part. Like you know what, who is your target? Okay, like before purchasing the ad space, you should know, like what is our my what is my target audience? Okay, you have to do a proper market research about that. For example, you have to come up with a proper customer persona. Okay, we call it as a customer persona or customer avatar. Like who is my audience? What is their age criteria? What is their gender? What is the geographical location? And what is the interest? What is their behavior? Getting it. So multiple factors are there that you have to consider. You have to make a proper avatar, and then you can target them. So basically, how to identify a target? You have to can do quite brainstorming over here, and there are different tools available out there where can you find out the target proper uh, target audience. For example, let's say I want to sell a plot which cost me two crore rupees. I know that nobody can, not everybody can purchase a two crore plot easily. So I would say people will usually say like you know rich people can do it, right? Like people who have a good post, marginal post in the company, or uh, CEOs, founders of the company, NRIs, okay, or the rich man. Now I can't say who is rich or who is can't reach by just looking at their face, right? I should know like either they reach or not by doing their by looking at their uh, activities, what they do, okay, by their luxury life, what they live, okay. So uh, basically, what I can do then I can target people, uh, let's say in the age range of 30 to 40, 45. I can target male or female doesn't matter to me. I'll target people on their behavior and interest. People who play golf, people who frequently travel internationally. Okay, people who are let's say a brand freaks. Okay, like you wearing a clothes something very costly in lakhs, wearing or let's say uh, using uh, let's say luxurious cars, having Audi, BMW, such a Puma, such uh, no, sorry Jaguar, such kind of cars, getting it. So wearing costly products and all these things. So based on their behavior and their let's say uh, uh, I would say interest, I can I have to identify my target. Next thing, as I told you, I have to know my target. And again, I have to make sure that while doing a research, can also help you to understand like you know what your competitors are doing. Okay, what they are going to reach, how they are going to reach, and when they are going to reach the same audience what you are drawing. So what exactly the content what they are showing to the same audience. So you have to make sure you come up with a really good content content what they are showing because you have to be competitive over here then only you can get a good business okay so next thing this was the first step next thing is objective fix your objective that is very important part like you know what exactly you want you're looking for brand awareness you're looking for sales looking for leads you're looking for website clicks you're looking for sign up forms you're looking for let's say product or brand consideration so make sure what is your objective Okay, looking for convergence. So if you fix your objective, then I would say you will come, you can achieve a target very easily. Okay, for example, let's say if you're going for brand awareness and you're looking for lead generation, then I would say things won't, won't gonna work for you because you might get leads, you might not get leads, leads because our focus is on brand awareness, right? So you have to fix your objectives first. The next thing is your planning and strategy. Obviously, you have to come come up with a proper planning and strategy because over here you should know once whatever the let's say audience we have targeted we have researched okay how to target them now what like what budget you should spend what should be the bidding scenario 
okay what kind of content you should write or what kind of content you have to show them what kind of images you have to design so in this planning and strategy you have to make sure that you come up with a proper budget and bidding okay and you properly let's say plan and make a proper strategy so that you can target the right audience which you have researched okay and you get a proper good results so once this is done you will move down to the execution part so where like you know basically you would be negotiating about the ad space with your uh, if you're going with the direct buy you can negotiate with your uh, website directly like you know uh, the what the rates or you ask them to give some bonuses or anything okay in this way you can make sure that the education execution is done properly this is the five step process is there okay as i previously told you like you know before you buy make sure you do the proper audience research okay this is another sort of overview i'm giving you do proper audience research who are you targeting what are the different segments of the audience you are targeting how you can target the different segments of your audience competitive research is also a very important part make sure what your competitors are targeting what they are doing with what ad space they are purchasing okay where they're placing their ads okay that you have to check next thing goals and budgeting as i told you make sure you give a proper goal select the proper goal and select the proper budget and bidding options okay different different platforms out there which can help you to do all these things and the last thing is nothing but the execution now how from where you will buy the media like how will you buy the media if you want to go for direct buy you can directly contact to the website owner okay for example hotstar or times of india whatever it is you can directly contact them and if you're looking for a network or agency buy then you can buy the ad space through a third party network for example the google ads have given the example previously only so google ads have on their own network display network same even facebook have facebook audience network even linkedin have linkedin audience network buy sale ads rubicon project many many options are available so they have like this buy buy let's talk about buy sale ads buy sale ads are nothing but it's a network of all those websites which have a good traffic on their on the plat on the website so they have connected all the websites under one platform let's say buy sale ads and now if you want to run ads or want to purchase it or want to sell it then you can contact this website directly okay through so like this agency next thing what is the pros and cons of uh, let's say going for direct buying for going with the pros obviously you can directly target the hyper volume volume or websites of high volume where you're getting the huge traffic okay you can cut out the middleman basically no uh, let's say agent is involved so you can save money over there and get your ROI back easily so no let's say middleman is involved cons consequences are nothing but it's risky because if you're not sure about the actual traffic then you might risk your money as well so make sure you uh, do the proper research network network agency by pros are set up quickly you can make swaps and changes quickly work with the representative to optimize the media buy so basically you can do it quickly okay you can make the changes quickly because you have a proper middleman over here okay cons one thing but okay it will be costly compared to your direct buy it would be costly because you have to pay some let's say commission to the agency if you talk about the google ads google ads take 32 percent commission that's a really huge one 32 percent commission and they give the let's say website 68 percent so if you go direct buy you will can avoid 32 percent okay but again that's a risk because they're not sure about the website like is it like really if, if it's what if it's at a fraud fraud one but if you go to the agency then that thing they'll guarantee you and they will charge the commission but things will go better okay self serve and network managed self serve model is like you know manually set up the campaign dashboard you can do it everything like it's a self serve okay execution regular monitoring of campaign generating reports and manual course correction pros complete control over the campaign from setup to completion you have the complete control over you because you are the one who will be handling the complete uh, ad space you will be designing the campaigns you will be controlling them you'll be monitoring them okay you'll be checking are they working or not you are the responsible one who about the performance as well consequences you should know proper knowledge for this you should have a skill set capabilities for planning and buying if you don't have you are basically risking the money over here and if you go to the network manage then you are giving it to the agency okay you are you're buying the agency you are asking them to do buy the ad space for you do the work for you okay they will provide really proper the objectives targeting and platforms okay they will they will do your job they will give you proper media plan they will decide what should the budget what should be the bidding okay so everything would be taken care by network and as i told you pro, uh, pros you can see limited oversight necessary for campaign basically you don't have to give a company attention over here 
as you're giving it to the complete network only like they they know which websites are really good for you for your uh, which for your product or service they'll tell you which uh, ad space you need to buy and everything and basically they'll be doing it consequences money would be very like you'll be getting charged more okay limited control on or dashboard access because you're giving you're giving it to the network okay so that's the let's say scenario with your media buying so i hope you have understood the media buying okay it's just about the five steps are important like you know as i've previously told told you these are the five steps identify your target know your target fix your objectives plan the strategies execution of plan okay in a simple language find out what is their audience what is their create a proper persona for them after getting a persona then you finalize the proper ad space fix your objective whatever you want then do the proper planning and everything and then execute it so this is all about your media buying so any doubts you can connect to the trainer okay thank you so much